Hi everyone, Dula Monica here. Um, I know that we promised to have um, an episode uploaded much sooner than this and I completely apologize. We've been really busy here at Dula Connections birthing babies, which is wonderful. So congratulations to all those new mummies and daddies out there. So in the interim, until I can edit my What is a Dula uh, video, I'm going to show you how to cast a pregnant belly. Um, I know a lot of people love to do this and they just don't know how and it's really very, very simple. So I'm going to show you what to do. So I um, hope you enjoy this and please watch for our next video on what is a doula. The main supplies you're going to need for casting a pregnant belly are, first of all, a plastic drop sheet. You will place this all over the floor and the chair. So the chair will be underneath this draw cloth, it's quite big, this is 9 by 12. So any um, plaster that happens to drop on the floor or the chair is completely protected. You scoop it all up and throw it in the garbage and you're done. Some petroleum jelly or any oil based, I've always used petroleum jelly and um, you need to provide a room for your mom to go in and make sure she can cover her belly and not just her belly but I encourage her to put the the petroleum jelly all onto the sides of her back that she can reach up and down and everywhere that the plaster might touch. And then of course the main ingredient is plaster cloth. I buy mine in bulk like this because we cast so many bellies. This is 12 inches wide and it's 5 pounds and what I do is cut it in 2 inch strips. And then you will need a bowl of warm water. First of all, a very warm, inviting environment, especially if it's um, somebody whose belly that you're casting is someone you've never met before. So you want to make them feel warm and welcome. So I've got a little fire going on in the fireplace. It's really cold outside. And then some beautiful flowers that was given to me yesterday. So that came in perfectly handy. And some tea and lemon and some water with lemon in it. I always encourage the moms to drink and hydrate quite a bit, not only throughout the pregnancy, but while they're sitting waiting for the belly cast to set. And some really nice music, as you can hear in the background. This is how the cloth looks, and you place it in the warm water. Give it a little gentle squeeze, and then unroll it, and then just kind of squeeze it between your fingers a little bit and apply it on the belly. So this is how it looks after it's been cast. Our lovely mummy's belly. <laughs> So here is how finished belly turned out. It's all ready to either be sanded and painted or you can do mod podge on it or whatever you decide. It's a very cool keepsake. Um, I recommend that you let it dry for probably seven to 10 days before you decide to do any process on them. And some moms like to wait until the baby is born and then they decide what they want to do on the outside. So um, I hope that helps and if you have any questions, please put them in the description bar below or send me a private message. And until next time, bye bye and thank you for watching.